Hi there, this is Robert. Today I'm going to talk to you about Nimbus Note for researchers and writers. First I'm going to talk about the criteria I use to select Nimbus Note, and then I'll get into the workflow, how I capture, organize, share, and output notes. So how did I pick Nimbus Note? I made a list of all the things that were required. I made a list of all the features that were optional, nice to have. And Nimbus checked every box, plus they added a few more that I hadn't even thought of. So let's go over some of the important points. Cross-platform compatibility, Windows, Mac, Web, Phone. So I often need to use different devices with different operating systems, and Nimbus met that. There's some programs that are very good that are only on one operating system or the other. So I wanted to import from Evernote and Markdown. I had a lot of notes in those different programs, so I wanted something to be able to import those. The capture was very important. Uh, not just type in, but speak in, copy in, web clipper, and the way it handles images and YouTubes and PDFs was important. Some programs just bring in the link to those things. They don't show it to you on the note unless you're in a, a preview stage. So in terms of organizing the notes, I wanted to use folders and subfolders and also linking and tags. So there's some programs that just have folders, no linking and no tags, and others that use linking and tags but don't have the folders. So it's important to me that Nimbus has all of those. I wanted a rich text editor. There's some programs that just use Markdown. So this is a, a nicer environment to work in with a rich text WYSIWYG editor. And then file storage, uh, storing files in the cloud, and also locally, so that I can have my files when I need them. Sometimes I work offline, and I've got them there where I need them. The other thing is, for security, I wanted to be able to back them up to Dropbox, because I've had the experience in the past of a program losing all my notes. Don't like that experience. So I want to be sure and be extra careful with the notes. And then finally, uh, note sharing, collaborating with others on certain projects. I need to share notes, and Nimbus does a brilliant job of that. And I wanted to be able to export in an industry standard format. Uh, some programs have a proprietary format, and that is a big pain. So this was really important to me as well. So let's get into the workflow. The first thing is capturing information. So we can input ideas by typing in, and we'll show how to speak them in. And then we can clip articles and copy in books. Here we are in Nimbus Note. I'm going to add a new note. So here I click on the plus button to create a new page. Give it a title. And then type in my content. Then I can use the rich text editor to change this text in a number of ways. And I also have other functions as well. Here's another great way to get notes into Nimbus. I've opened Nimbus on my iPhone, and then I could use the keyboard to just type in a note. Or, what's more fun, I can use the microphone. Another great idea to put into Nimbus. So that note will be transmitted to all my devices. Here's a good way 
to bring in content from the web. Nimbus Capture. As you see, there are several options. I'm going to pick Selected Area, select the area, and then edit this image with different tools. As you see, lots of different options. When I'm finished editing, I'm going to add some comments down below. And then I'm going to send it to a folder right within Nimbus. That's all there is to it. My favorite way to bring in content from books is Kindle. In this Kindle book, I can just copy something here and paste it here. And you see the attribution is already in place. I use a modified Zettelkasten method. Let's see what that looks like in Nimbus. Here's my setup in Nimbus. I have a workspace named Robert. And then I have many folders for various projects. You see here I have about 300 notes in the golf section because I'm writing a book about golf. That's one of the principles of Zettelkasten is that you write notes and then you create from the notes. Here's a typical note over here. You'll see I brought in a, a link to the YouTube where I got this content, the creator of the content, and then a couple of Links, that's another key feature of Zettelkasten, is you can link to other notes, and then you can also link to other sections. So you can use the same note for several different contexts. And then thirdly, there are tags. You can set these up as you wish. Uh, the way I have them is an idea is the first Label, the second label is resources, that's for new notes. And then in process are notes I'm working on, and finished notes are notes I am ready to export. I sometimes need to collaborate with others, so let's see what that looks like in Nimbus Note. There are two main ways to share notes. Here's what button that says share on it. It gives me a public link that I can email to somebody, post online, or whatever. Mainly, I use internal links. So, first I make a comment on this. So, it's not te technically part of the note, but it's a comment to my collaborator. Then I create an internal link. You see down here it says copied, and that posts to another workspace that's shared. My collaborator only has access to that workspace. So if she clicks on this link, she'll automatically get the note. So it works really well. And finally, let's see how you can output notes in Nimbus. To export, you can export individual notes, or you can export a whole folders full of notes as PDFs or HTMLs. There are many more features than I've talked about today. In fact, hundreds of them. For more information, just click on this link. It will take you to the website. So in conclusion, I want to say that Nimbus has been greatly helpful to me, and I highly recommend it to everyone else.